When creating a shape, the default shape fill style creates a path group along with a fill style. Let's take a look at the fill style parameters, starting with fill color, which determines the color of the fill style that'll be used to fill all of the paths that were created. When you select the fill color style in the properties panel, the color will also appear in the top bar of the viewer. If there is no fill selected, this color will determine the color of the next fill that'll be created. If we set the color to blue and start again from scratch, this new shapes generator, which uses a fill style, will automatically use this color. The fill rule parameter determines the algorithm used to fill these vector shapes. When drawing two paths in the same path group, you can see that the second shape isn't filled right away, but it'll be filled once we close this shape. Once both shapes have been closed, the union can be calculated and these two shapes will be filled. By default, odd even mode requires shapes to be properly closed. But before taking a look at the other drawing mode, let's go over what odd even mode can do. Let's delete this layer and draw a new spiral path. As you can see, as we draw this spiral path, it'll generate fills, then holes, then fills again. The odd even option imagines a line intersecting the path at several points and will define alternating fills and holes accordingly. Remember that since the fill style allows you to fill a shape that isn't closed yet, we don't need to click on the starting point again to produce these alternate fills. Now if we change the fill rule to non-zero, it'll be based on the outer silhouette of the shape, ignoring this alternating fill and hole. If you imagine a line going across the shape again, you can see that regardless of how many intersections there are, it's the outer silhouette that will be used. Let's keep non-zero mode enabled and create a new layer. Create a first path, and unlike before, this time when we draw a second path, the fill will fill the shape, even if the shape isn't closed yet. Depending on the different shapes you create and the type of rendering you want to achieve, you can choose either of these two fill algorithms. Here the shapes are closed and relatively simple, so both algorithms produce the same result. But as we saw earlier, winding shapes can produce a very different effect. By default, shape contours are clean cut, but you can create soft edges using global feather. Shape edges will be softer and more transparent as they extend outwards. The ramp parameter manages the extent of the soft border and transparency. Linear mode in the working space, followed by perceptually linear, which is visually linear in the display space. Let's just switch back to transform mode to get rid of the overlay display. And then we have the ease in interpolation mode, which will push the transition as close as possible to the path, ease out toward the outside, and smooth to the center. For better control, Feather Falloff allows you to apply a gamma to this transition in order to push the transition as close as possible to the path, or the opposite, push it outwards to the boundary of the feather contour. Finally, this color can be defined either in the working space or in the display space. Since this parameter is set to display space by default, it's easy to get information on a color, like a hex code so that you can just copy and paste a color from an external website in one step. In this video, we went over how to draw shapes according to two fill algorithms, define the color used, and feather the fill around the path.